In this part, we are still using merchandising company as an example. We will talk about the timing when a firm recognizes the inventory as an asset. This is uh, similar as the chapter 6 revenue recognition. When the firm recognizes revenue, and timing is very important. If a firm purchases from its supplier, this is timeline. This is the point the supplier ships the goods. And this is point the goods is delivered. And during these two points, that's the goods in transit. So whether the firm recognize the inventory as an asset at the shipping point or the delivered point or any time during this period is an issue. So for goods in transit, right, depends on the agreement. So there's two different choice. If agreement is free on board shipping point, usually the buyer pays the freight costs. Then the ownership passes to the buyer. In other words, when the goods is shipped, the buyer can recognize inventory as asset. The other one is free on board destination. Usually the seller pays the freight costs and ownership passes to the buyers when the goods are delivered. Also, the buyer will recognize the inventory as an asset when it is delivered. So when you read the firm's balance sheet, check the change of inventory balance. You should check the notes which the firm applies. Because free onboard shipping points means the buyer can recognize the assets earlier and the other one, the buyer recognizes the inventory as an asset later. Another circumstance is consigned goods. For the goods out on consignment, still the property of consigner. For the consignee will not recognize the inventory received. The next one is sales with purchase agreement. As when a firm has shortage of cash, it transfer the goods to another party and will repurchase sometimes later. So this will not be considered as a sales. Why? Because the goods will finally be repurchased. This transaction as parking transactions, accounting standard violation or fraud in the past. Some firms just recognize the parking transaction as revenue to overstate their revenues. Another special sales agreement is sales with high rate of return. For the seller, he should recognize the sales revenue and the amount it expected to receive from the transaction. And also establish an estimate inventory return account at the date of the sales to recognize that some inventory will be retained. So that's why some firms, when they report sales revenue, it also report its control account return. Okay. So the rate of return will help investors to understand the persistence of the sales. Some firms just send their goods to some random customers and recognize as sales. But finally, the customer may not need the goods and uh, the goods will be returned. This will result in the great rate of return. But the firm can take advantage of the, the lack of return by overstating the sales in advance.